Well, good evening. It is a lush night here in Scotland and I've been wanting to get out for an adventure for bloody ages. But we can't. But when we can, we need to have those camping rigs set up, don't we? So today I'm going to show you my super budget camping setup for the back of the truck and get you out and camping as soon as possible. Let's show you my little rig. So around about seven months ago, a friend of mine got in touch with me and he said, I'm coming up to Scotland, Josh. We need to go on an adventure. We're gonna go camping. We're gonna get in the trucks. We're gonna get away. Let's do something. And I was like, yes, this is a great idea. But back then or before then, I'd had a roof tent, which was amazing. But I got rid of the roof tent. So I had to come up with a new way to camp in the truck. As with most of my design builds, this one was led by a need for speed and a need to get things done on a budget as quickly as possible. However, seven months later and I've used this rig for countless trips. It is so easy to set up. You can take it apart and put it together again with no nuts or bolts. It just slots together. And I just really, really wanted to show this simple design with you using literally six bits of wood. You can build this out of one piece of 12 mil plywood and a few other bits that we might butcher from places like Ikea and a few nuts and bolts and you'll be good to go. Hi. So the top of this bed is a three inch topper that I got off of Amazon. Um, in hindsight, I probably would have gone for a four inch one. I can very, very occasionally feel those slats coming through from underneath the topper. We've got slats just underneath us, underneath uh, the topper with a central spine and the central spine has these little screws at either end just to pull tension and put tension on these slats so they don't move around in the middle of the night and honestly it works absolutely perfectly you don't have to spend a lot of money on stuff like this you, you know you can buy these ikea packs i think the slats are about seven or eight quid um we butchered ikea for the two runners that run down the side so if i lift that down if you can see this bit of wood just here runs all the way up the side and that allows the slats to sit on its outer edge on both sides so we can double this up as a double bed or we can have it as a single so this is how the slats are held in at the top end it's just two little screws one there and one in the corner there and then it's exactly the same thing the other end on this bed up in that corner and in that corner and all that does is it puts tension on this th these straps that are on here i'll be honest this is one of the worst things about these slats is that they break so a lot of these have come loose now and they're not hold held in place like they should be what i would say is if you are going to do a setup like this is just add extra material or even build your own that are slightly more uh indestructible than the ikea versions so the top end of this center spine is just held in place by two very small bolts that sit either side of this 12 mil piece of wood here. You can see one's just there and I'll bring that round and then that's the other one. And all that does is it stops this cent center spine moving from side to side too much. And while we're at it, there's the full length of that top box which I've just cut in the center. And then the foam goes over this half and comes all the way down here to the end, which leaves me with this half to be able to lift up and get at anything that I need to in there, like water or camping gear. Right, let's get out of here and I'll take this bed apart and we can show you exactly how it goes together. Usually I'd be a little bit more enthused about this, but I've done this about four or five times today. However, I am gonna show you one last time, well, your first time and my last time, how quickly and easily this bed goes down and comes up. So let's start that stopwatch and get this done. Two more times. Here. Come around, good boy. And that's it, it's completely out the truck. That took me about 30 seconds. 
However, now we're gonna do it the other way and I'm gonna stop with every single bit of the six bits of wood that I've got and show you exactly how they all go together. What's great about this is it, it just slots together. There are no screws needed. You do not need any tools, but I'd be super interested if anyone actually makes this and then improves on it. So write in the comments if you do, but let's crack on with putting it back together. So the first bit of wood is the center spine. This thing creates the whole structure for holding up those um, slats that go on the top. I've created this space at the end and you'll see what that's for, but what it does is it creates a place where we can put either foot, not foot, where we can either put shoes or we can put bags or we can put anything muddy. There's a few different reasons for that, but let's get this into place. When we put this into place, we'll just be using those two bolts on the top end just to slot into to start with. Give. Go on then, go. Piece one is in. The next piece that we're putting in is the flooring for the end. Now there's a little latch here at the end and what that does is it slots in, it's 12 mil wide and it just slots into that bit of ply that we've just put in for the center spine. There is enough room on either edges to put in our two, next two bits of 12 mil ply that are just gonna slot down the sides of those, but you'll see that next. However, let's get this in. That's that in. So these are our two side walls. That's just gonna give the whole thing a little bit more structure. Let's get those in next. And last but not least is just another support for our center spine. Now this again is the width of that footwell We've got another slat just here with a slight angle on it. So the bottom of this slat just in here has uh, an angle on it like that. So that will allow this to basically sit like that and that spine will sit there like that within it. So let's get that in. And that's formed really the basic structure of that whole thing. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna get those slats again and we're gonna use that tension just to pull on those um, two bits of ribbon on either side and give that tension and then get that top back on. So that's the single setup built. However, if we wanted to do the double setup, all we would do is get our slats for the other side, drop down that second seat, and we'd be able to do that as a full platform across the back. However, I would not recommend it because when you're on a double setup, you don't have the room to get out of the truck and onto the floor. You have to crawl through this gap and that just isn't nice for those of us that don't have back doors. So all you need for this build is one piece of ply, 12 mil preferably. You can go a bit heavier if you need to, four feet by eight feet, some bolts to secure that middle spine at the top end, and then a few little bits and pieces from Ikea. Go down there, look in the broken section and just see what you can scavenge and get your hands on. I'll also leave some links for the memory foam topper and the Cool Max cover for it, which I bought from Amazon, and that should get you on the road and having adventures very soon. Anyway, the benefits of a build like this is it really doesn't cost much money. And as you can see, the whole thing is sturdy enough that it stays in place. If I did it again, I'd go for that bigger topper on top. I also now, when I go out, I make sure that I actually drill down on the slats in the center here, because usually I'm away for a week at a time. And when the car moves, that tends to kind of rock around a little bit. However, if I redesigned it again, I might change this, this middle support spine and go all the way across. So it held it a little bit higher and stopped that movement. There's loads of little things that you can do with this when, once you start building. For me, I've used this for about six months. I still love it. I wish I could camp here tonight. I think that's enough of me talking about my truck for one evening. Don't look too bad, does it, for a little DIY job? Budget, cheap, all the good words. Anyway, if you build your own, let me know how it goes. Drop me a message in the comments. 
subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook under Nero and me or at Life of Joshua on YouTube and I will catch you next time. Bye guys, take it easy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. Think it's about time for me to go in. Like I dive deep. Like I'm last week night with the flow here. Johnny boy, my peeps. I'm an infotainment stain. My brain ain't contained. Keeps spilling out. I'm belligerent and insane. My drink don't stay in place. Eh? In my I'm house. just two girls, one cup, and keep it hipster like succulents. My main be a succubus. Swear I'm better than younger me, but I'm still just as hungry. I could eat the whole country, contrary to what you see. More than a fat Asian game. I'm more like rain.